are there any athlete biographies you would recommend reading? Well, that's a, you know what? I've never been asked that question about athlete biographies. Of course, the book that changed my life, uh, Seven Days to Sunday by Elliot Asanoff, can be looked at like an athlete biography. But um, when I'm in Ireland, very often I'll buy the, uh, the, the Gaelic Association. There, there's three sports, handball, hurling, which is probably the most famous, and Gaelic football. They'll have a lot in there. Uh, I've read a couple of them. It's, you know, these are working class guys talking about trying to balance a career, family, and high level performance. Um, there are some really good rugby uh, biographies I've read. Uh, the captain of both uh, Driscoll and the other captain both had biographies that I thought were pretty good. But generally, I don't really read athlete biographies too much. And part of the reason, and don't, don't take this wrong, but sometimes I'll know the person and I'll know that there's a lot of things missing. And very often what's missing in their heroic uh, attempts to overcome everything is, in fact, one case in a very famous book is the amount of uh, performance enhancing uh, 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 pills that this person took. Magically, this person, you know, had all these uh, leaps and bounds, but forgot to mention the little additional work that they were doing uh, at the doctor's office. So I'm not a good, I'm not a good uh, source for that. Okay. Tino love your questions though. Thank you.